Hello everyone, and welcome back to Evil Left Gaming. We are continuing on with the Banner Saga. Let's see here. We need to head to the docks. There we go. Vognir. A familiar varl steps onto the docks in your mind you recall as <clears throat> in your mind you recall a much younger version trampling the halls of Grafheim abundant in purpose gods Ubin you look ancient comes with being old and if there's a Vognir there must be a Hakan must there Still, bleeding tributes from the poor and the stupid, your ox. At what age do you lose a sense of shame? Jundor demands it. I'll take that over lingering to... I'll take that over lingering to death in Grafheim. Speaking of, I have no sense of... I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returning from Arbring, in fact. And glad for it. Harkon mentions to the other ships in the bay, sails still fluttering. Golden wolf head emblazoned on red, the king of men or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son. Luden. Don't you remember Scrivener? We visit his capital. He visits ours. That's how you make alliance seats these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Harkin has it. I had almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around here, Hacken. Then you're going to Grafheim? I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away, but ah, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is more Hacken, we have to find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading up to meet the governor. A host of giants to pardon his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Morg. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic scanning the beach with his low eyelids. Luden looks for all, all the world to sort the boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grofheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. Weariness suddenly sets in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it's been. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. On the other hand, if you're going to join Wagner's Cavern tomorrow, 
it might not hurt to share a drink with Hacken or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. Let's see here. Let's go have a drink. Scrivener. You find Hacken in the meat house, surrounded by other Varl. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hacken waves you over. Went straight for the flagon? Wagner is the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year it's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here to the great hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. Ha! Humans. I guess if I only lived as long as a yox fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself too. It's not too late to start trying, Hacken. Hacken lets a slip a low chuckle. Any Varl could recount his deeds, known as he is for cutting a swath through a dredge at Wagner's side in the Second War, and regularly since. Down here, I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point, just another reason to get back to Grafheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the meat house becomes overbearing, then step back into the cool air outside. Um, I guess let's go say hi to this prince. Is this the right place? You find the prince at an inn. Guards blanket the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for Luden. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Luden. Yes. You're with Wagner? I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Wagner a long time. I'll be joining you back to Grafheim with my guards. Luden looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I work for the king, carrying tides to the capital. We cross by chance. Oh, a tax collector. Fine company. What do you want? Hmm. I have a habit of recording history. I thought we might talk about your visit. A Varro historian. Aha. Don't you already know? Your king and mine both have been practically trumpeting it throughout the cities. I've been on the road a while, I'm afraid. Luden takes a deep sigh. Whether tired or ungracious, you aren't certain. Maybe both. A formality, mostly. Wagner came to our capital in Arbrang. And now we go through the Varl's capital in Grafheim to cement this grand alliance for the next age of men and Varl. You sound unconvinced. There's no need for it. It's a damn cold. And it's damn cold up here. You get the sense he's struggling not to complain outright. You take the opportunity to excuse yourself. And to the Great Hall we go. At dawn, you're awoken by a delivery of goods. At least you think it's dawn. Damn hard to tell when the sun never moves. The governor's crest adorns the supply letters. Leathers. All there, just as promised. To your mild surprise, you wonder if Eric had anything to do with it. 
Your guards take the treasure wagons down to the gates. Wagner's already here. And a while later, Luden and his men appear, groggy and disheveled. Wagner steps forward. Wagner's quartermaster. If you recall correctly, in charge of his unwieldy entourage of warriors, you know him only in passing. He asks you if you're ready to depart. We're ready. You follow more and join the others. Usually, the smaller doors set into the gates would be enough to enter or leave the city. But the town guards have been told to push them open entirely. They mutter things under their breath that are best not heard. Perhaps the governor expected you to draw a crowd, but there's nothing of the sort. Just frustrated, tired people. It summarizes a strand, well as a whole, you think. And off we go. <laughs> the caravan stops for a day. A gift, says Morg, cracking open mead cast, from our gracious friend, the governor of Strand. Hours pass with recruits laughter as the meat is passed throughout the camp. Hmm. Let's toast to Wagner. You raise your drink, toasting the alliance between man and Varl. The others join in. Luden's expression is like a stone wall, but the others laugh at your exaggerations. Eventually, you sit down beside Wagner. Uh, let's chat. Thanks for the speech, slurs Wagner. Looks like you didn't have to miss out after all. Thanks to Morg, I thought the damn governor would never shut up. Did he give you the history of his entire family? He tried. Then he asked me to clean up his mess. For your benefit, turns out. I'd given the job to you, too. Oh, gods, there's no joy in politics. Speaking of, what happened after this business with Luden? Hopefully, the boy goes back to Arboring on his own, and I can take out some frustration on Dredge or something. Starting to sound like hacking. You don't like the life of a diplomat? Haha. <laughs> don't you miss the fight, Ubin? You down your mead instead of replying. Wagner slouches and shakes his head. There's no great joy in killing Dredge, but this pretty sure this nonsense is some scheme between the two kings to force some kind of lineage used to be warriors would follow you for what you've done isn't that why they follow you now is it or is it because I'm the next in line these lines are getting muddy old Varl they've always been muddy Wagner Wagner stares into the campfire lost in thought you leave him to it You rise groggily. The campsite is casually of merriment. Walger is already kicking warriors awake when you spot Luden stalking your directions. He sidesteps sleeping bodies. Better wake up, you nudge Vagnir. You're needed.
Ah, it's Luden. Always a pleasure. You look well rested. Wagner releases a cage yawn and receives a hard eyed stare in return. How long to to Grofheim? Ha! We're only two days out of Strand, you know. Come, I'll show you the map. The world map. Use right stick to pan around the map. Use left and right trigger to zoom in and out for a closer look. A portrait icon shows where your cavern is in the world. You can use left stick and A or left bumper and right bumper to select any location to get some history about it. When you're done with the map, press B. Alrighty. We head north, then east, past the forts. Gromheim's far from Strand. Going to be a long march. You should have drank last night, Luton. Why not take the ships to... Skirm is dead. What's the point of marching? The Silverstone Bay is called that for a reason. It stays covered in ice all year. It would tear up the longships. Too bad, though. We could have shown you all the wonders of... Skrimus... These words are so hard to pronounce. Skrimus dead. A half-sunken city, crawling with dredge prints. Dredge and glaciers. You like glaci glaciers? Luden exhales through his nose. Nose. A poor disguise for his content. He turns and pats aside the tent flap as he goes, barking at his company in the distance. Don't poke the anthill, Wagner. He seems no happier to be here than you. Spend a few more days with the boy, old friend. He'll be looking for a tall cliff to hop off of, too. Loon's got a shorter wick than Hawken. Thanks, Wagner. Let's get moving. Another half day to Vetterfell, if we're lucky. Camp. Camp is where you manage your caravan. During travel, you can enter the camp at any time by pressing camp, the camp button on the travel HUD. While at camp or in towns, you can upgrade your eyes or equip items in the hero's tent. You can pass the time by using the rest tent. Resting will improve your caravan's morale. A high morale will reduce casualties in war and affect your willpower in combat. Each passing day will use supplies, so only rest when necessary. The training tent will allow you to safely try out any characters in a mock battle. Tap leave at the top button of the camp when you're ready to get back on the road. Um, alright, so let's check on our heroes real quick. Injuries. One or more of your units is injured. Injured units can still fight, but have a penalty to max strength equal to the number of days wounded. They heal as time passes. Use the directional pad in A to select a unit and view stats, promote ranks, and learn about abilities. Use the directional hand in A to select the ability button to learn about the unit's abilities.
Alrighty, that's that. So, I do believe we should get going. Wedderfell, even the name means bad weather, where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay. They tend livestock, but most are just men driven from strand with nowhere else to go. Why else would anyone stay? We won't stop long. By Hadberg, there's a lot of varl for some missing cattle. What? A couple days back, sent word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. He looks pleased with himself until it stink sinks in that you are not here on his behalf. Where have your cattle gone? Wouldn't know. My boys have seen men up the hill carrying them away. Don't know many men who can hoist a whole cow by himself. Scaffolding is out here, maybe. So, could they have been Varl working for them? Not from what the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get camp set up. The peasant spits, his eyes anxiously darting about as the caravan sets up tents. We'll be here no more than a few than a day. There's silver for any food you've got. For a hundred Varl? Are you serious? Whatever you're willing to sell. You thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple hunters here. Forget hundreds of. Shut up. Hear that? Where's Luden? It's faint. Sounds like fighting in something else. Harkin takes off at a run. Alrighty. Pressing A on any tile will automatically make a path, but you can also set waypoints. Press X here to make a waypoint. Waypoint pathing is useful when you need to avoid certain tiles. Press A here to finish moving. Spearmen can attack diagonally and up to two tiles away. Press up on the directional pad to compare your stats with the enemies. Target this enemy with an attack using left stick and A. Armor blocks attacks on strength. For each enemy armor higher than your strength, there is a 10% chance the attack will be deflected. Notice the change to hit shown above the attack button. Attack the enemy's strength. Deflected attacks do no damage. From here on out, you will fail catastrophically if you don't break armor. Damaging both strength and armor is equally important. Alrighty.
Wait, what? Break damage target, plus one return favor. All right, we'll just rest for you. Alrighty. We need to break this guy's armor. Ooh. Sundering impact. Yeah. Leave my dude alone, he's injured. Jeez, that poor guy. There we go. Now we can deal some real damage. Okay. Let's take out this big guy first. the wrong guy. That's right. What is he doing? I don't like that. Alrighty. Whenever an enemy falls in battle, one willpower star is added to your horn. Using the horn will give one willpower to activate ally. Active ally to the active ally. There we go. And pillage mode. And there we go. Victory. You trying to get yourself killed, Luden? What are you doing? I was trying... Finding a trying to get in a shot between the plates you never seen a dredge before boy what kind of an idiot break their armor first where did they come from you didn't even see them they were just there Hacking goes to where Wagner lays face down the future Varl King lies motionless aside from a spreading pool of blood Wagner's dead Chapter 2. Where did that thing come from? Shh, stay close. I think it's us.
Deployment happens before battle. Select your units. Rook and Alette using the directional pad to deploy them within the blue squares using left stick and A. Press Y to start the battle. I'm okay with where they're at. Let's not get too far. <laughs> All right, Rook. Mark Prey does one armor damage and allows all enemies within range to attack the targets. Ugh. Throw the needle. Hit all units between the archer and the street line. Deal one armor damage. We just need to deal armor damage right now. Now let's do Mark Prey, now that your armor's lower. There we go. Was that a dredge? Alette looks calm, but you can tell that her heart is about to beat right out of her chest. It was. Let me see. Are you hurt? No. I'm... I'll be fine. When the dredge attacked your cart and the yawks bolted, it spilled most of your supplies. You can see more dredge figures moving through the trees when you glance at that direction. All that food. That's the last we're going to get before winter. Do we... What do we do? Don't run. Let me think. If we hurry, we can gather them before more dredge appear. I can see them in the trees. Are you sure about this? No. We have to try. Be quick. Alette calms the yoke while you frantically toss supplies into the cart. More dredge emerge, but you manage to get the cart moving again before they can close in. The colossal figures slowly recede into the darkness. Supplies. Supplies represent food and other goods used to keep everyone alive on the road. When supplies are gone, people will start to die of starvation. The more people are in <clears throat> the more people are in the caravan, the faster supplies will diminish. You can see how many days of supplies you have left on the travel display at the top of the screen. Most towns will have supplies to sell, as well as a few items. to see the dredge with my own eyes. What happened in the north? 
Already we see more between the trees as we approach our home, and Alette grips my hand tight. We must find Ivor. Ivor. The enormous varl in question towers over the men in the training field. He squints as you approach. Already back, Huntsmaster? Thought you'd be tomorrow. Dredge. Everywhere. Dredge? How did they get through Greyhorn? Must have broke through the fort. The fighters nearby have stopped sparring. They gather around you. Damn it. They'll be here soon if not if they're not already. You hear screams from the outskirts. People are running toward the Great Hall. I returns to one of the older boys in his group of fighters. Eggle, take <clears throat> take a let out of take a let to the Great Hall. Tell the chieftain what's happening. The rest of you gather up as many people as you can. Come on, Alette. No, wait. I I want to help. Alette looks like she might protest, but scouts and runs off to safety. God, Rook, don't start telling them I, I know what I'm doing. I know it's a stretch, but they bought it. What's the plan? Just hold off any dredge we see until everyone's inside then we'll figure it out more shouts draw your attention to some houses atop a nearby hill All right, and I do believe we're going to call this episode two, and we will pick up from here next time. Thanks for watching.